Hey everybody, this is Shirlene with Cheryl's Crafty World.com, a real store, and I have been really busy. Uh, you guys, I am about to share with you a wholesale purchase of beads that I made. We are talking 60 strands of beads. I am going to be a busy little maker the next couple of months. So let's see what I got. So we'll start with this bag first. And I'm not going to go too slow because um, I'm trying to get my light right and everything so you can see them. But they're really pretty. I bought a lot of stuff that I know I didn't have. These are really pretty the way they um, change color and everything. And I think these are either sixes or eights. Okay. Then we have some yellows that are like squares. Well, not really squares, but a different style, different shape. Almost, almost teardrop, but not quite. Then we got these pretty browns. Look at these. I wonder if my light is too much, y'all. Let me know. Let me see. See, I don't want to do it too bright. I have a little light. So this is the browns. Look how pretty. I'm just putting them in a box because then I gotta put them in my uh, containers. Look at these. Look at these. These are pretty. Oh girl, y'all know I love my purple. That I got to make me something with that. That is gorgeous. My birthday coming up. And one thing I'm learning to do is love on myself. I'm going to have to put some more brown. And I get a lot of these colors because I'm going to start really building my mailed apartment. Um, right now, I only make um, bracelets for guys. But, you know, guys like to have nice jewelry, too. Look at these. These have, like, a little splash of pink and... Yeah, they just have like little splashes of pink on them. And these are gemstones. Okay. That's another thing. I'm be having a gemstone collection. Then there's these. I really like these. Because these could be used for, these are unisex. You know, the colors. Got those. Boom, boom, bang. Go big or go home. <laughs> these will probably be focals. In some projects, but they're really pretty. They're like a a gold, a yellowish gold, though. Yeah. Okay. And then we have these pretty black ones. Oh my gosh, I can see these with one of my crowns. Y'all know next month's Black History Month. Then we got some blues. These are real pretty. These almost look electroplated. They might be because I don't know if you can see there, like the inside is white. So these might be electroplated, but they're real pretty. All right. Then we got some lilac. These are pretty big ones. These would be nice for some nice chunky earrings and bracelet set or um, a bracelet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're getting tied up. Got some coin beads here that want to tangle up. But we're not going to have that. Okay. So we got them in like a bluish purple. And these are coin beads. When they're flat like that, like a coin, they're called coin beads. These are pretty though. Then I got them in like a hot pink. Because I got some hot pink girls out there. These are pretty. And then I picked up those green again um, with the splash of pink. So I have it in like almost a square and then I have them in the rounds. Oh, looks like we got some loose purple. Woo, yeah, they jumping all over the place. Jumping bait. Okay, let me figure out where it's falling from. And we got some purple big ones. Uh, looks like. Okay. These right here. OMG. These are so 
pretty. I hope I'm in frame here. I'm trying to get the light right for y'all. Look at how pretty these are. These will definitely be focal beads. Maybe for a pretty necklace, pendant. I'm trying to break out of my shell this year, you know, because I basically do stretch and memory wire, but I've been practicing my crimping so that I can do um, beading wire and then whatever and working with chain too here's a now y'all i don't get down with the orange but i have some customers who do i have a lot of friends in um florida that like the orange okay. what else we got here oh, we got another purple oh we got light pink light pink gemstone and i mean it's just the hint of a pink. I don't know if you can really make it out, but it's pretty. Like a real light baby pink. You gotta be careful with the gemstones because they break. And then what's left in the bag, it looks like oh, wait, wait. I think it was just those purple. But no, there's some black and white rounds, just like the squares that I showed you. And then it's a strand. Another strand of the purple. So, put that empty fat bag. Oh, but oh wait, nope, but oh wait, there's more. There's more. This is how they were sent to me, so. Got some metals, metal beads. Or you can use them as spacers. Okay, hold on. We got these circles, which are real pretty. Sorry for the glare. And then we got these, which are different. I'm going to open these up. We're going to take a look at these. Because these are different kind of bead. Oh, these are the little angels. Look at that. And it's so funny because I just bought something like that um, with feet. The feet for the box. Because um, I alter cigar boxes. And the feet for the box look like this. Like little angels are on them. So yeah, these are little angel. And they go sideways. So it'll look like an angel on the bracelet. Or whatever piece of jewelry you make. So those are pretty cool. And that's a decent size hole. Meaning I could fit that on a, um, a big hole bracelet. Alright. And then the rest is purple beads that fell off. So not bad. Eight minutes for the first bag. We have a few more to go. I don't know if you can see there. There are one, two, three, four more to go. When I said I bought wholesale, I didn't get around. All right, here we go. Yes, these are nice. These are nice. Look at these. These are so nice. Oh, and I like the shape of them. So I have a strand of those. And then... These are nice. Light blue. And then we have a light green. It's a nice green. You know, you got to be careful with greens because some greens are like, ugh. It looks like I got two of those. Oh my word, the shell. I'm not even going to put the shell beads. Oh no, these are a little sturdier than shell. These must be like gem. Look at that. There is not, I mean, they, these are gorgeous, y'all. I like seeing shapes that are different from everything else. We got another really light green. It looks really bright in the camera, but. And then we got some, I don't know if this is gold or yellow, but it's pretty. Spring is coming. Woo, look at these. These must be for focals. Because these are big. But they'd be good for a guy's bracelet. And then we got some blue. How pretty, how pretty. And then this red is nice. 
very nice. I like the white and the decoration. Like this, it's really nice. It reminds me of um, you know, paint pouring. You just never get the same design twice. Or um, what is that? The, the girls do jelly plate, jelly plating, jelly plating. All right, get to the next one here. If we did it, well, those were really big, so those were easy to go through. But okay, are these all tied together? I don't know if these. Okay, <laughs> these these remind me of peas, but you can if you can see they're not all the same shade of green. They like very. So those are pretty. Oh, these were real nice. I had to have these. These are also green, kind of. They're more teal than they are green. Teal with black spots. And these are your gemstone. Her tea. Did I buy all her green? I must have been on a green kit. Here's some more light green. <laughs> Here's some dark green. This must be the green bag. I must have been hungry or something. Look at all this green. I don't even like make that much green stuff oh my word well like I said it was a wholesale purchase so she was clearing out because she's going to a beach show and she needed room to restock and she was getting rid of her old stock and I jumped on it these are nice these are they're really matte and they look rustic kind of you know it's kind of hard to see with the light but yeah there's those and then i have some pink in that same kind of mute tone those are pretty and then hunty let's go through the green because i got some more green i must have bought every size green Lord have mercy, I just stocked up on the green. If there's anybody out there that loves green, let me know. Green. <laughs> I see me making tons of earrings and bracelet sets with this. It ain't easy being green. Oh, my word. Look at all the green. <laughs> all right. We didn't see enough green. There's this one. I just want to show you everything because there's this one. We'd be here all night. Okay, let's bust out some blue. Look at these. And if you look close, you can see the black. And Oh, and they even got a little facet, facet, faceted. Just ever so slightly faceted. You can see the flashing from that. Very pretty. These are very nice for my guys. Look at these. These are nice. Nice gray. They look green in the screen, but they're gray. Beautiful gray. I think because they was in the green bag. <laughs> Everything's going to look green. Then we got some green and white. These are pretty too. All right. We have to another bag. Two more to go. <laughs> All right. What's in this one? This one's got some more coin beads. We looked at coin beads earlier. That's good to know because then I can put them all together when I go to containerize them. Then we got some more yellow. I don't buy a lot of yellow, so I had to jump on that. And then she had this. These are tiny, tiny. But these would be good for dainty. Ooh, okay. Look at this okay and it's even got a little bit of facet fast is it faceted yep it's faceted and faceted just means like it's cut in like i don't know like hexagons or whatever but this is very pretty this is gonna be a nice bracelet and earring set oh my 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 and i like the variation in the colors so that's going to be really nice okay then we have some tiny these are almost clear and yellow the box is getting full and then we have some straight up yellow and some more clear 
those will probably be like spacer beads. And then we have these. More green. Got to get some spacer beads for all the green beads. Now, these are cool. These are, these are really like a purple, a light purple. Very pretty. These would look nice with silver space beads, silver metal beads. It'd be a nice little bracelet. <clears throat> okay. And I need to start making some dangles, too, for journals and Bibles and things. Oh, my. This is purple. Looks blue in the camera. And this is red. Valentine's Day is coming up. So, look at those. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, I should have stocked up on red like I did on all that green. Lord. Right. Let's dump them out. Oh, I got some more of that. So cool, I got two strands of that. That's going to be, I'm excited about that. Okay, and then we have, this is a real dark red. That's pretty. And then we have this beautiful yellow. I like this because, again, it's a little faceted. I don't know if you guys can catch some of the bling bling on it. And they're like little donuts, little chubby donuts. Those are cool. And it looks like these have some with it. And these look, these are like purple, a purplish gray. So, there's those. And then we have these. These are also faceted brown beads. I don't normally buy brown beads, but grow. There's always room to grow, right? And then we got some more red bling beads. Like I said, Valentine's Day is coming. Got to get that stuff in the store. I just put some new keychains up in the um, dot com. So y'all can check those out. All right, you guys. We're on the last bag here. Ooh. All right. This looks like a little more fun here. Let's go to pick up. These are, oh, okay, I didn't buy these. Well, I did when I bought the bulk. I did. So if there's anybody that likes Buddha beads, let me know because I don't do Buddha. They were in the lot that I bought, so anybody that does them is welcome. That does do Buddha. Or I'll probably sell them on whatnot. Cause that's where I bought this lot from whatnot these are pretty pretty gray beads and ooh, here you go color we haven't seen yet peach pretty and I like that dust that's that almost teardrop okay then we got some beautiful blue and these be perfect for angels if you ever see where you can buy the angel wing charm um and then you just put it on this with a little bead for the head and uh a spacer for the halo and you got a bunch of angels and oh these green flat ones these are gemstones don't ask me which gemstone because i'm not into it like that to me, it's a green flat square bead. To somebody else, it's a venturine and this serene and that light, oxalite and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that's a little deeper than I want to get into beading. Because um, I'm a crafter who beads, not a beater who crafts. And uh, so then we have these little teardrops. Green. Green, green. Okay, let me dump this one out as well. Yeah, y'all can see I got way more packages. <laughs> I need to stay off whatnot for a little bit, but I'm building, um, this is resourcing for my business, so, you know, and then you wait a couple months and then you do another big purchase. This is pretty, so pretty. I will be having more sales on YouTube and whatnot. I've been doing so many sales on whatnot. I forgot about my YouTube family and that's not fair, so. I'll be bringing y'all some sales as well. These are pretty little red ones. These would be good for like spacers. 
And then look at these. These are pretty, very earthy looking. I like that. Back to earth. We gotta start taking care. Oh, we got some more gemstones here. Oh, thank God we almost done because my toothache is like, whew. It's like, girl, you know you had a toothache. What you doing all this talking? And then this one. And we're doing good. Looks like we're going to finish before half an hour. Praise God. And look at these. These, I would call these queen bees. They're a little thicker. But they're pretty. And like I said, um, Black History Month is coming in. Here's some more green gems that are flat. Square flats. Pretty cool. Stuff I don't normally work with. And then we got some more brown that looks earthy. So, I'll leave those there for y'all to look at. Whew. And my beverage that I'm drinking today, of course, is the water. Because, let me show you my cup here. She's a tall one. <laughs> My favorite, is it slim? I call it slim cup. But, and yeah, she's purple. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to grab me a sip right now. She has a pop top. Hmm. Always drink your water. I'm trying to drink more water this year. I don't really have a resolution, but just to, my resolution is to get as healthy as I can. I've been losing weight and uh, definitely learning how to move in silence. Everything ain't for everybody to know. So, um, until the appointed time. Anyway, I am so excited to jump in this humongous box of beads and start creating and bringing you guys new and exciting products. And, uh, yeah, 2023 is going to be booming and exciting for all of us all right so i don't want to keep you i want to thank you for your time if this is your first time coming to cheryl's crafty world welcome if you wish to be part of our dot com crafty family you can do that by hitting the subscribe hit the bell if you'd like to be notified when we upload and leave us a like and a comment so we can officially welcome you if you are already part of our dot com crafty family Hey girl, hey, hey guy, hey, y'all know we praying for y'all and we couldn't do this without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. A million thank yous from me and Mr. Bob because we love you all. It's so funny, I was just talking to Bob this morning before he went to work and I, you know, it, it came up in somebody's discussion about, you know, what to do if you have a crafter person in your family and they pass away what what are you going to do with all their stuff and um so I kind of was like yeah Bob what would you do I guess I need to tell you who my crafty friends are and he goes oh I know who your crafty friends are he says I would tell them to come you know to let me send them some of your craft stuff to remember you by and I just thought that was so sweet that he would think of that and not say, well, here, let me just dump all your stuff at the Goodwill and not even worry about it. But we were talking because um, there are a lot of people on whatnot who do estate sales. And a lot of these estates have crafters. And I asked the lady, I said, you know what? Did the estates um, increase because so many people passed from COVID? And left stuff behind. And she said, oddly not, because a lot of the families are just not dealing with it. They are just throwing the stuff somewhere at a Goodwill or throwing it away or whatever. They are not being bothered. So estate sales haven't really um, improved. But um, there are some people that are like moving out the country and they not trucking all that stuff with them. So that's how I'm able to get good deals on whatnot when there's people that are downsizing liquidating um estates that they picked up um the funniest part and i i hate to say the funniest part is when you get somebody <coughs> excuse me when you get somebody that doesn't know what they have you know and i had one guy who was like that 
he wasn't into jewelry, you know, but he picked up an estate and it came with a bunch of a bead jewelry. And he was selling like five and six strands for two dollars. Who's going to walk away from that when you pay three ninety nine for one strand at Michael's? You know, and you could pay even more at Hobby Lobby. They have a better selection of beads at Hobby Lobby. So, you know, Michael's is like your Walmart of beads and Hobby Lobby is like your Target of beads. But anyway, I digress. So, yeah, if you are looking to resource for your business, um, check out whatnot because you might find some awesome deals in there to help you and help your bottom line in, in the end. I know if I had went into Michael's, and picked up 60 beads of strands, 60 strands of beads at at the cheapest. Let's say it's on sale. Let's say it's on sale for like half of $3.99, right? So that's what, $2? That would have cost me, what, $120? I paid $70 for all of this. $70. So yeah, and then another $20 for the shipping because it was pretty heavy. So $90 total out the door for 60 things of beads. And if you do the math, that's like about, what, $3 a bead? Not even. Less than, a little bit more than a dollar a bead. Not even $2. Because $2 would have been one twenty. So less than $2. So I got a better deal on whatnot than I would have gotten at Michael's on sale. Just saying, anybody that's starting a business, make sure you are looking at your bottom line, make sure you are saving money wherever you can because we are kind of in a recession. I mean, good Lord, me and Bob decided to order out the other night and we got two sandwiches, or was it a pizza? We got two sandwiches and I think he got some nuggets and two sodas. Why did that come up to 50 bucks? You used to could buy something out like Chinese or something for twenty four dollars, now fifty. I told them we ain't ordering out no more. Fifty bucks. That's to me. That's a bag of groceries. And he was like, "No, it's not a bag of groceries anymore. Now a bag of groceries a hundred dollars." And that's the truth because I did order groceries through Instacart, and I I kid you not, we had twelve items and it came up to a hundred dollars. I was like, "You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna order that depression cookbook." <laughs> it looks like we need to learn how to do on less. I'm telling you, it's time to get frugal. But anyway, I said all this to say, count your pennies in 2023. You'll be thankful at the end. All right. Blessings to you all. Love you all. Bye for now.